Hello developers, welcome back to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar. Today we are going to explore something really important in a React. It is called props. Props play a very important role in React components. Props allow us to make our component reusable, configurable and dynamic. In this video we will cover what props are and how we can use it in React using props in function components and using props in class components what is props.children and finally the difference between props and state before we dive in a quick favor please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more react tutorials i also wanted to take a quick moment to thank all of you who have shown incredible support for my ebook JavaScript a comprehensive guide from ES 2015 to ES 2023. Your response has been truly amazing. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, this ebook is your one stop shop to learn everything JavaScript from ES 2015 to the latest ES 2023 features. It's packed with explanations, examples, and best practices to help you master the language. This ebook is designed for all levels. So whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, you will find value in it. So why wait? Grab your copy today from the link in the video description and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more JavaScript content. Now let's get started. So what are props? Props is a short for properties and props are a way to pass data from a parent component to a child component in React. They allow you to make your components dynamic and reusable. Think of props as information or instructions that you can give to a component. Let's try to understand this with an example. So let's create a component user card.jsx so in the components directory here new file user card.jsx export default function user card and now return jsx so in the div tag and inside this div we have s2 tag let's say user name and then in the small tag let's say score any random number next in the paragraph tag the user description let's add some lorem text it's done now let's display this in the app component so in the app.jsx here yeah, let's import this so import from the components directory user card like this and add this user card tag right here so now let's comment these component tags and also comment these import now let's see this in the browser here we have user card component now we have very basic user card component in the video about react components i have mentioned that components are reusable and can be included in any part of the application so create a component that returns JSX you want to and include it in any part of your application. For example, let's say you want to reuse this user card component. All you have to do is include user card tag as many times you want. So if I duplicate this and save the file, take a look the browser, you can see the user displayed three times in the browser. Let's add a border to this component. So in the user card here, I'm going to add class name border now in the browser. The border is added. Great. This is very useful. Now we want to pass three different user names to these three components and render them right here. That way reusing same component, we could print three different users instead of just displaying this user name text three times. This is where 
props come into the picture. As I already mentioned, props is a short for property. It's optional input that your component can accept and it also allows the component to be dynamic. Let's understand how it works. Here our intention is to pass name of user from app component to the user card component and render that name in the browser. To specify name property we simply add a name attribute like this and to this attribute we assign the value. Let's go with the name Harish. Similarly let's add the attributes on other two components as well. So here name is equal to John and for this component name is equal to Jane. Now we are sending some information or property to user card component but how we retrieve these value in the user card right here. The first step add a parameter to this function component. We are going to call it props. You can actually name this anything you want to but the convention is to name it props and I highly recommend you don't deviate from this and now we can use this parameter in the function body. So let me first log the props parameter in the console. So console.log props. Now go back to browser, open the dev tool in the console tab, refresh. You can see that there is an object logged into the console. If we expand this, the object has a property called name and its value is Harish. Similarly, we have John and Jane. So props is just an object that contains the attributes and their values which have been passed from the parent component. So if you want to display the name that has been passed to user card component, we need to use props.name. So back to editor. Now here instead of this username text, we need to use in curly braces props.name. Don't worry about this error. It is because of ESLint. It says name is missing in the props validation. For now, ignore this error. We will fix this in the next video when we will cover the topic props validation. Now if we take a look at the browser, you can see Rish, John, Jane. Now let's add another prop to make sure we get good understanding of how it works. So in the app.jsx, I am going to add second attribute, let's say score and and add any random number similarly to these components also next in the user card component right here let's print the score so here we will say props dot score like this next in the browser you can see the output is what we expected next let's see what is props dot children props dot children will contain any child content passed between the opening and closing tags of a component. For example, in this user card, we want to pass user description. We can pass it in the props. Instead of this, let's pass it between the opening and closing tag of user card component. So here, let's add opening and closing tag. Here in between this, in the paragraph tag, let's add user description and now how we can access this in the user card component right here. For that we can use props.children. So here in the curly braces, I'm going to call props.children like this. Now save the file and take a look at the browser. Now here you can see only Harish user has user description text. So if I were to add button to the second user card component, so let's add this 
for this user card component first add opening and closing tag like this and in the div tag let's add button and it has tags do something now let's go back to browser and here it has button do something so the content between opening and closing tag of component is rendered using props.children if nothing is passed then props.children simply renders nothing next let's see how to make use of props with a class component usage of props in class component is same as we have seen in the function components the difference is that we can retrieve props value using this dot props in the class components let's see an example of it so let's create a this same user card component using class so in the components directory here let's create a new file let's name it user card class comp dot gsx now first import from react component and next class user card class comp extends component next export default user card class component next this class need a renderer method so renderer that returns this same gsx so copy this and paste it here now here to retrieve the props value we need to use this dot props dot name right here also and here also now in the app dot gsx here import components user card class component next let's add tag right here and the attribute name let's say harish kumar and score any random number and in between opening and closing tag let's add paragraph tag and in this paragraph tag lorem text now let's go back to browser and here we have expected result using user card class component now we understand how props work but there is one strict rule though when it comes to props and that is props are read only and should not be modified inside the child component for example let's say here we want to modify props dot name is equal to any random text abc now in the browser we cannot see anything here refresh nothing rendered let's see the dev tool console and it is giving the error cannot assign to read only property name of object that is because of this line props should not be modified inside the child component let's remove this go back to browser and everything is working next let's see the difference between props and state the first difference is that props are passed from parent component to a child component while state is managed inside the component second main difference is that props are immutable it is a read only property and should not be modified inside a child component while state can be changed using hooks like use state this is all in this video i hope you enjoyed it if you like the tutorial hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next video mm -hmm.